We're with Colin Wilkins from the SPU men's track team. Falcons getting ready for the Oregon State Invitational in Corvallis on Saturday. And Colin's going to be in his second steeplechase ever. Colin, what got you into the steeplechase? Was this your idea or coach's idea? T take um, us through that. It was, it was coach's idea, but I think a lot of it is just I come from a soccer background, so they're like, you should be athletic enough to run and jump over a barrier, and it's a, uh, 3K is about the distance that I've usually been running, so it made sense, gave me something new to try. Okay, and what was it like training for this, and what's, what's the process been like for you? Uh, it's been fun. I've had to do a number of workouts on my own, but that's been all right. I, we just set up normal hurdles around, and then last week before the first one, we got uh, to the actual barrier, practiced jumping off of it, and then just went and did the water pit for the first time in the middle of a race, so it was fun. All right, and what was that first one like for you? <laughs> It was a surprise. It it didn't. The first one didn't go very well, but they got better as the race went on. Now the the water pit. What was that like? I mean, now, now all of a sudden you're running 3K with soaking wet shoes. Have you ever had anything like that before? Um, I mean, yes and no. I've had my feet that wet running cross country. It's pretty usual, but it was it was something else to land in a puddle that big and then have to jump off a barrier into it. It's a it's a longer fall than when you're just from coming from the ground. What's been the most challenging part of training for you as far as preparing for this? I would say, I don't know, just mentally trying to get myself prepared to know what it's going to feel like to have to, have to jump when, when my okay. legs are that tired. And because it's hard to know until you actually are in the race. Okay. Having been through one now, what are you looking for? Maybe a little bit uh, easier going this weekend? Yeah, it felt it felt smoother and smoother as I went last race, and then this race is a little bit shorter, so I think it it should go very well. How about the endurance factor? You're a cross country guy. Did that? Uh, how much did that factor into it? You think 3K? Oh, that, that's okay, but uh, again, with the water and the hurdles, that gets a little more tiring, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, I mean, it's similar to cross country in that you know. In, we're on track now, but it's you know jumping instead of running on a rougher terrain. So it's very similar. I in the indoor season I was running just normal 3Ks, so I, that was good training for it. Doesn't feel too long. <laughs> just getting ready to jump. Okay, you're going to be strictly a steeple guy this season, or will we see you in other events as well? Uh, I don't know for sure. Probably mostly steeple, but we have a number of meets, so I may get the chance just to run a 3K or a 5K or a mile or something without jumping just to give my legs a bit of a break. All right.